the worst SUVs you need to avoid at all costs. The cost of owning a car is affected by much more than just the sticker price. You can get a car at a great price only to end up shelling out more money to restore it. There are still many cars on the road that cause their owners many problems. We went into Car Edge data, which ranked over 200 models from best to worst for maintenance based on millions of automotive data points from a range of the industry's leading data sources on the list. Even cars that people believe to be reliable turn out to be bottomless money pits. In addition to the likelihood that each model will need a significant repair within the first 10 years of ownership, we made a list of the 10 worst SUVs with the highest maintenance and repair costs relative to the vehicle price. Jaguar F-Pace, Audi Q3, Volvo XC40, Cadillac XT4, Porsche Macan, Land Rover Range Rover Evoque, Mercedes-Benz GLA, Land Rover Discovery and Discovery Sports, BMW X3, BMW X1 and BMW X2. Great, let's start by taking a closer look at Jaguar F-Pace. Jaguar F-Pace. The F-Pace blends the utility of a crossover, the thrill of driving a sports vehicle, and the impeccably contemporary design of a contemporary Jaguar. Four adults in their luggage fit comfortably inside its luxurious and well-built cabin, and a wide range of powertrain options are offered. The British automaker Jaguar produces the F-Pace, a small, luxurious crossover SUV, but the Jaguar brand hasn't always been a leader in terms of dependability and quality. The majority of the expense of maintaining and repairing a Jaguar F-Pace will start to accrue after the first five years of ownership, costing around $16,000 for the first 10 years of use. If you see a fantastic deal on a used Jaguar F-Pace, don't forget to factor in the high cost of maintenance and repairs because there's a 48% probability that the crossover will need significant repair over the first 10 years. Audi Q3 The Audi Q3 comes in a fun and maneuverable vehicle, and while it doesn't have the premium Audi level of great fit and finish, it makes up for it with a feisty driving style and a ton of tech options. In 2015, Q3 made its debut on the North American market. A six-speed automated transmission is mated to a 2-litre turbo 4 engine that produces 200 horsepower and 207 pounds-feet of torque. The maintenance and repair charges for a 5-year-old Q3 will likely be higher than those for a premium vehicle with comparable pricing. Due to the brand's higher rate of unforeseen problems compared to the average car, Audis have a comparatively high annual repair cost. Simply because it's an Audi, the Q3's spare parts will likewise be more expensive. Data from CarEdge estimates that the first 10 years of maintenance will cost $11,843, with a 36% likelihood of needing a significant repair. Volvo XC40 For the 2019 model year, the Volvo XC40 was added to the Swedish automaker's portfolio. With the XC40, a chic, subcompact crossover that's dripping in charm and loaded with technology, the company is wooing young, premium-minded consumers. The pre-owned 2019 Volvo XC40 cost between $27,000 and $29,000, but for its first 10 years of use, this entry-level luxury SUV will need to be maintained and repaired for an estimated $11,900. The majority of this expense will begin to accrue after the fifth year. Moreover, there's a 36.25% likelihood that an XC40 will need significant repair within that time. The XC40 is a relatively new model, so if you are interested in purchasing a used one, you probably still have access to part of the original manufacturer's warranty coverage. If not, you're better off looking into other options to save hefty maintenance and repair costs. Cadillac XT4 In the US, subcompact crossovers are a hot topic. The 2019 Cadillac XT4 entered the market and reached its peak with sales of 32,000 units in just the first year. Since then, there's been a declining trend, and the premium appeal of Cadillac quickly wears off when moving. The X-T4 is difficult to suggest on the interior due to the low quality materials and bumpy ride. Where things start to go awry is under the hood, with GSM's LSY 2.0-litre turbocharged four-cylinder. Common complaints include inconsistent up-down shifting, brake booster failure, and engine problems. A second-hand X-T4 that's three years old costs about $28,000. Throughout the first 10 years of ownership, their crossover can cost you around $12,000 in maintenance and repairs, and according to CarEdge, there's also a 37% probability that the following T4 will need a significant repair at some point. Porsche Macan Since 2015, Porsche has been producing the Porsche Macan, a high-performance luxury crossover SUV. The Macan lineup is extensive, and the compact SUV is built on the same platform as the Audi Q5, the market's smaller sibling to the well-known Cayenne. With a starting MSRP of $57,000, the Porsche Macan is the company's most affordable vehicle. 
It is, however, more expensive to maintain and repair than Porsche's actual sports cars. During the first 10 years of ownership, a Porsche Macan will cost slightly more than $20,000 in maintenance and repairs. That's more than a third of the cost of a new vehicle. There's also a 61% chance that a Macan will need major repairs by the time it reaches its 10th year. Land Rover Range Rover Evoque When the Range Rover Evoque's first generation was introduced, all other SUVs looked antiquated in comparison to it. The groundbreaking design in the luxury small SUV industry seems to have fizzled out and has a bad reputation for dependability. Although the compact SUV with a basic price of $45,000 bears the iconic Range Rover badge, the SUV is aggravating on multiple levels. The second generation Evoque had a noticeable initial delay while accelerating from a rolling stop. Then the power came on abruptly, the ride was too stiff, and the fuel efficiency was among the poorest in its class, according to Consumer Reports testers. Yet, yeah, because we're here to talk about maintenance expenses, there's also no good news for business owners. As the firm estimates that the model will cost roughly $16,365 for maintenance and repairs throughout its first 10 years of service, the Car Edge maintenance and repair cost chart exhibits a significant rise. Moreover, there's a 50% probability that a Range Rover Evoque will need a significant repair at that time. Mercedes-Benz GLA The smallest SUV offered by the renowned German automaker is the Mercedes-Benz GLA, a subcompact luxury crossover. The second-generation Mercedes-Benz GLA, which is built on a modular front-wheel drive architecture platform, makes an effort to build on the success of its predecessor with a completely new design language and several upgrades that make the tiny crossover more resembling an SUV. If you're interested in a used GLA 250, for example, the 2020 model would run you about $30,000. But maintenance on that same car will run you about $13,781 for its first 10 years of use, the majority of which will occur after the manufacturer's warranty expires. Moreover, there's a 43% likelihood that a GLA SUV will need significant repair during that time, so be ready for that. Land Rover Discovery and Discovery Sport the Discovery's attractive design, superior off-road prowess compared to the class sector, and the roomy cabin will probably entice you when you're hunting for a car. Although the Discovery has smaller parts and lower service rates than the $150,000 Range Rover Autobiography and can be purchased for a fraction of the price of its opulent Autobiography sibling, if you purchase the car for its style and functionality without considering Land Rover's exorbitant maintenance and repair costs, you won't be able to keep it on the road unless you have deep pockets. Throughout the first 10 years of ownership, a Land Rover Discovery or Discovery Sport will require roughly $16,300 in maintenance and repairs, according to CarEdge. Also, there's a 50% chance that a significant repair will be needed on the car within that time. BMW X3 When it underwent a redesign for the 2018 model year, the BMW X3 entered its third generation. A four-year-old pre-owned BMW X3 is currently priced between $32,000 and $38,000. But here's the catch. Maintenance and repair expenditures on this German SUV can range from $90 to $4,500. The following three often required service repairs. Replacing the CV axle assembly, the crankshaft harmonic balancer, and the fuel pressure regulator and pump are related to problems with the air conditioning alternator and brakes. Throughout the first 10 years of ownership, a BMW X3 will require roughly $17,711 in maintenance and repairs. Also, there's a 55% likelihood that the following three will need significant repair during that time, which is 15% worse than comparable vehicles in this sector. BMW X1 and BMW X2 The BMW X1 and X2 are nimble, quick cars that have a lot of power in a small package. Its small size makes it an excellent daily driver, but only if money isn't an issue. Within their price range of purchase, the BMW X1 and X2 are easily the most expensive small crossovers to maintain on the road. The phone will require $17,550 in upkeep and repairs over its first 10 years of use, which is roughly 44% of the cost of a brand new BMW X1. Moreover, there's a staggering 54% likelihood that a significant repair will be required during this time. Perhaps this explains why X1 sales have been declining every year since their high in 2017. For now, that's all. Please click the subscribe and bell notification icons for future video notifications if you haven't already. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.